In this video we're going to talk about return types. So these methods, as I showed you earlier, they take uh, parameters or arguments. Uh, the parameters are what you declare up here. The arguments are the values that you actually send to the method or the function, uh, depending on your liking of the vocabulary. Uh, return times basically is what a method returns. So for example here we've set void, basically meaning a void as you would expect in space or something. There's nothing there, we're not returning anything. Um, but a more interesting uh, example would be if we put int here and to make it a little bit trivial we could say square uh, int value so then uh, the caller of the square method would expect square to take the value sent to it and return its mathematical square, meaning the value times the value. So there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest is just to say return value times value. Notice the times is the asterisk. It's a mathematical, uh, it's a mathematical symbol. Um, in, in math, we're used to doing the big X, but X is actually a, it, it could be a variable name, so we don't use that in programming. We use the asterisk. Um, along with the asterisk is division. You can do uh, addition, subtraction, and a few other operators, but for now we'll just stick to those four basic ones. So I'm going to return value times value. So the return keyword here basically says uh, whatever is the result of this operation, uh, return it. So in this case, value is an int. And I showed you that ints are um, discrete values, basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so forth. They can also can go negative. Um, but really, we could square any sort of value. It could be 1.8 or 2.64 or whatever. So in that case, we're going to do float. Uh, and float instead. So the ints would work fine, except uh, we couldn't do uh, floating point numbers. Anyway, so now we're saying we're going to return a float. Um, the long hair hand, longer way of doing this, which make may make more sense to you brand new beginners, is a float return value. I know I showed you before how we could declare a variable and give it its type. So the type is float. The variable name is return value, and I can say gets or assign it the uh, value times value semicolon, and then here I just say hey return the return value. Uh, no real difference between this and what we had before, except this has more text. Uh, to me, I don't like it because I think it's a waste. Uh, we have this variable here that really we just turn around and return it. Um, the variable name could serve a purpose if it had a descriptive name, but in this case, return value is not that descriptive. So I'm just going to go back to what we had before. So now to call it, I can say float, um, I don't know, let's call it 5 squared, just, just because. Get square 5. And then let's console.write line this uh, 5 squared. So I hit F11. Actually, notice first of all uh, the assignment here. So when I say square five, basically what is whatever square returns, which is value times value, uh, basically pops out here. So the square of five is going to be 25. So you can think of it like this: if I hit F11 and step, and I step, and notice we're going to call square. So we call square. Value here is five. F11 value times value is 25. So we're going to return that value times value. I hit F11 and we come back here. Now 5 squared is still 0 because we have not yet assigned the return value of square, which was uh, 25. So hit F11, boom, 5 squared is now 25. Uh, F11 on the console dot right line, and if I pull up the black console window, you can see 25 here. So that's return values in a nutshell. And again, you can put string here and return a string. You can put bool and return a bool. Uh, you can put a lot of things there. Um, 
let me say float again. Notice, notice when I said string, it says, hey, uh, a float times a float returns a float, and that's not compatible with string. If I bring up the error message here when I try to build it, it says, cannot convert type float to string. So let me just put, oop, let me just put float there again. And uh, now another way to think of it, so if you remember I say float some float value gets whatever, like that. Um, and why is it complaining about, oh yeah, I have to, uh, don't ask, but I have to put an F there. Um, we'll, we'll get to why I had to do that later. Uh, but for now, remember I, I, I say float some value. I basically declare the, declare, declare the variable and assign a value to that variable. Well, remember that square, in this case, when I say square 5, um, it returns 25. So once square is done executing, you can almost imagine it disappearing and returning in place of itself a 25, which then is assigned uh, by C-sharp to the variable 5 squared, and then we turn around and print it.